Hey, right, sir. How was your day going? Oh, good, man. And you? I'm doing fantastic. I appreciate you stopping by. If you could, could you please uh, properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment and uh, plug or promote anything you'd like. Uh, yeah, I'm Bent Self. Um, uh, my home base is typically Arizona, Phoenix area, but I'm also um, from um, Albuquerque. And currently, I'm in Albuquerque in my RV. Hell yeah. How did you come up with the logo with the bat? Is there some kind of symbolism going on with the bat for the logo? Um, I just, I like bats. I like aliens. And uh, my music's a little bit kind of dark electronic and kind of an industrial style too. So um, I just always like bats, man. So I incorporated the bat logo in there. Hell yeah, that's very cool. Do you do yeah. all, all your own recordings or do you go to a specific artist to, uh, to, to do all your production? Um, I do all my own production. Um, is it is it I in the RV it. so you can like travel and record anywhere at any place? Yeah, like right now I have. Um, That's cool. I'm sitting in my RV. I have all my my mobile studio, um, my mixer, my basically I have like my uh, you know like your road box for the on the stage. Yeah. So I have everything built in that. Um, so actually, I'll just do a spin. Oh, that is sick. Hold on, let me full screen on this end real quick. Uh, uh, it's like boom. Yeah, my, my recordings, you know, my recording stuff down here. My my uh, it's kind of hard to see like this, but. Let me no. do this, dude. So there we go. Bam. That is dope. So my wireless mic, uh, my recording software, this is my looper, uh, my mixer, uh, my DJ thing, and then I got my recording mic and uh, my monitors and all my setup is in here in the studio. Professional. Yeah. So, you know, I try, I try to um, pretty much have the same type of gear I typically had in my room, you know, or in, or in my, my regular small studio, but just kind of had to conform it and, and smash it in my little RV van. Uh, but I got it where everything works good. And then when I play a live show, um, I just close this down, pop it out, and then this has all my live stuff. And then I have two uh, screens that I have on stage that has some visuals and stuff like that. So You're just instantly ready to rock and roll. I love it. Full, of, rock, full of empty. What what made you write this particular record? Um... You know, I don't know, man. Just it's I I wanted to um I I, I experiment like if you have you noticed you listed all my stuff experimental. Some of it's kind of more ambient, a little bit more more kind of spacey. Um, like the Murder on Mars is more like hip hop ambient, kind of has a little bit of rock to it. Um, but a little bit less alternative industrial stuff. But um, um, and sometimes I just feel like writing something that's got a little bit more kind of alternative feel, just some bass and guitar type of stuff, and a little bit less electronics. Um, and so um. Yeah, and that was from my um, that was from my last album I released right when COVID is all happening. Um, that album is called Waves, and I think that album in general has probably got a little bit a little bit more ambient in it, a little bit more alternative than maybe some of my other ones that had a little bit more experimental stuff and a little bit more hip hop in it. You know, but cool. I just I kind of write with the vibes and the flow, and you know, to me like every day is 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 different. You know, life's different every day, so I I try to just bring the dynamics of all different dates you know sometimes it may be kind of down tempo and chill and then some days i'm aggressive and i want to like make i'm gonna speak something loud and clear you know what i'm saying yeah I feel so it. the newest song i have i just released called robotic humanians is kind of on that it's kind of like tired of the politics tired of all the bullshit the hypocrisy the you know what i mean it's all that grind man we just want to play music and, and, and be creative and spread our love like that and so it's like all that extra stuff is just like this is too much sometimes. And I don't always like to write about politics either. You know what I mean? I'm like every song, I don't have a specific theme I'm on. Um, so as you listen to it, but you'll kind of hear, you know, throughout the vocals, like where I'm at and where I stand with stuff, obviously. So, um, yeah. Dude, can you show me your full microphone piece? I just oh, want to yeah. know like how far down you, it goes right there. I want to, if I can see it. So I have it to there. And then I'm getting a chest piece. So this is going to fade into the chest piece. I got you. That I'm getting. What are you going to do on the chest? Yeah. Um, I'm doing, um, I'm do my, uh, my dad has these old kind of trees, like dead type trees. And it's going to be um, kind of like from my stomach to my chest. And then on my chest piece right here, I'm going to have uh, two sparrows like my grandpa had. 
and then the mic's going to kind of blend into that. So awesome. we kind of left the box, and then we're going to blend that in. Yeah, you got some dope ink right there, dude. That's nice. Uh, I like it. Yeah, this the, good. the Adam. Thank you. I appreciate it. The, the Adam's apple right there was the only spot that sucked. There was a lot of uh, little gagging. Dude. Uh, yeah, that's like a weird spot, dude. Yeah, like, it was yeah. uncomfortable. I got to it up, man. Yeah, totally. Yep. Let's let's jam some of your music real quick. So show people what we're talking about. Uh, we're hanging out with Ben Self. If you guys are feeling it after you after you hear it, please go on Spotify, hit the follow button, jump on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Yo, what is that inside the ice cube? Dude, I'm glad you asked that. So, um, since COVID hit, a little bit less shows have been going on, but I got my mo my full studio, my RV rocking around that time. And so uh, I spent some time traveling. So I went to, um, I went to the state of California, like, like San Diego for like three months, sold merch by the beach and kind of promoted. And then I dipped around to Vegas, shot some music videos. Um, and when I went up to Red Feather Lakes, Colorado, uh, to see some of my uh, good friends and my homie up there, um, they have a rock shop. I and mean, he's like, he he he's a he man. He's a rock hound. They got like some killer rocks and gems. Um, on the way back, heading uh, to Albuquerque from um, their house in Colorado, they were at the big rock and gem show in Denver. And when I was in there, they had these little jars, and they take the animals or whatever it is, and they make them clear, and then they dip up their bones and their cartilage. And the bones will turn like say blue only, and then the cartilage only turns like purple, and then the animals like see through. So that's an actual tree frog, and he's like see through, and his bones are like fucking techno style. What <laughs> so the? Hell? Hey yo, what the fuck? That's amazing. I've never seen or heard of anything like that before. Dude, it tripped me out, and that that little vial is not big. It's like this big, and um, they had like snakes and little turtles and other stuff, but. I'm in an RV. I can't, you know, a lot of the cool stuff I collect or paintings or artwork, I can't even put up in it. You know what I mean? That's like in the storage or my home base. So I was like, this is like a little badass item I can get. And this thing is so weird. And uh, it just so happened when I was shooting the video, I was like, dude, I just want to, I just want to, I want to put something weird in here. I want people to be like, what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? That's so, what I did. I was like, I, the, yeah. Yo, being then being that you're into to aliens so much, what is uh what's the best alien movie ever? And let me ask you some trivia on it because I'm gonna try and stump you. What do you oh, say? Shit. What do you say? So pick an alien movie that you've seen a bunch. I um all right, I'm gonna pick a fire in the sky. A fire in you the sky? That? I have not. Oh shit, dude. Yeah, that's that's a real story. That's like a legitimate story, though. That's not just a movie. That's got that dude in there is that dude's legit, and that's and it's an incredible movie too. But it's pretty trippy how uh, to see what that guy went through, and he's still around today, and how much shit he had to go through just to be involved in that whole abduction, dude. It's pretty cool. In um, seventy-eight or ninety-three. Um, ninety-three. <laughs> okay. I believe. Yeah. All right. I wonder if that so so it's got the it's got the the T one thousand Robert Patrick from Terminator two in it. No, like, like is this is this the right movie right here? Otherwise, I'm asking the completely wrong trivia, and you're not gonna get it. <laughs> no, I think it might be a fire in the sky. Maybe it's the A. Um, okay, what about it? Well, give like, me give me a backup one. Give me a backup one. Oh, uh, back. Okay. Um, and you know I got to uh, play. Let's let's blaze a four twenty. By the way, of course I got to play that one. Oh, yeah, I got to play that one. Um, well, I'm, I mean, shit, dude. One of the first ones. I mean, that I saw obviously was like Aliens, and that was just crazy, right? I mean, as far as when I was younger, so that one's classic, dude. So, the, like the sequel. What's that? Aliens, the sequel. Uh oh no oh see so you got me. Or so do you Alien want Alien is the one, right? You, so you want the first one. Yeah, let's do old school. Got you, got you. Way back. Way yeah. back! Way back! Hanging out with Ben Self. If you guys are feeling the music, oh, please back. support him. Uh, it's a Let's Blaze It 420. This is kind of a hard one, though, because you kind of got to know, like, additional knowledge about the film. But uh, yeah. here we go. Right. Talking about Alien that came out in 1978, Sigourney Weaver. Before the movie went into production, 
before deciding to call the movie Alien, what was it going to be called? Predator. Wait, what? Predator. That is not correct, sir. That is not correct. <laughs> I'll give you one That's more what? guess. Um, uh, it starts with an S. Um, I did not know this answer, by the way. Oh man, dude, I, I have no. I was gonna say like extra fresh real sum, you know? Because I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. No worries. We got you on the stump. It's Star Beast. Star Beast is the answer. Had you gotten it, we would have spun this wheel. That's dope, Star Beast. Star Beast is kind of cool, but then cool. when I when I think of Star Beast, I don't think of what the alien looks like. I, I, I think of like a neon glowing character or something. Yeah. Well, hell yeah, let's do it. Smoke weed every day. Let's roll. Now, what what one song? Is is something that we haven't played today that you would prefer we absolutely listen to? Um, oh man, I mean, I, I would say um, I don't think we, we haven't played murder. I mean, no, we didn't play murder on Mars today. Um, I would say play murder on Mars. That's a dope track to uh, to drift away to and smoke too. It's got some uh, rock in it, and that one features the legendary Cool Keith, which. It was one of my underground like favorite, you know, hip hop cats. So for me, that was like really dope doing the track with that dude. That is cool. Um, how, how did that? How did that connection happen? Um, I, I had all this stuff ready, kind of the beat and the idea, um, and I kind of tossed everything over to him, and we kind of finally got. It was like a good time frame when you know people aren't like on tour and and, and super busy as far as studio wise, um, and just got it all linked up and got it locked in, and then my good, good homie uh, DJ Bless One. I got him on the track, and he did a badass uh, interlude and some sick-ass scratches because he's like a, a true hip-hop uh, DJ, you know what I mean? So he's got that cool old-school style. And um, and so I kind of I kind of wanted to bring that that underground um, conscious hip-hop kind of style and kind of do that spacey alternative mix and kind of pull it together. So, um, And I have an animated music video for this one, too, where we're, like, smoking and shooting aliens and shit with, like, our music and shit like that. Oh, well, you know I got to see that. Yeah, so we got to see that one because that's the one where we're, like, Let's go. Yeah, it's got the deck. Throw and sit on it. Yeah. Hell yeah, that one's dope. I really like that one. Murder Thanks, on Mars man. for sure. Cool, funky beat yeah. too. What is Chad wants me to ask about Blind Alien Records? Can you can you go into detail what that is? Oh yeah, that's um that's just my independent record label. Um, so I I've been that's just that's what I kind of umbrella everything under. Um, and then currently um. I, you know, I, I, I kind of want to have everything in house. You know what I mean? I do pretty much everything myself anyways, um, as far as everything. So I have, um, I do screen printing and embroidery and sticker, you know what I mean? Everything. So by Alien Records, it's kind of like a full production company now. Plus it's like my indie label that I've been building up for myself. So how does, let's say someone's watching and they're, they're in a band. How did you come to the decision? I don't need everyone. I just need these certain things to be able to do everything I need to do full on self touring promotion recording. Like how was it always that way? Or was there like a moment where you're just like, I just, now I don't need these people anymore because of this. Does it make sense? Um, on, yeah, yeah. Honestly with me, it's, it's, it's pretty much always been that way. But when I first started and I started doing vocals, um, I created a full band, like an alternative metal band. And so, um, obviously with that, you know, I, I didn't do like the guitar and the bass, you know what I mean? In those sections, but everything, but a lot of everything else I still did. I built the websites, the graphic design, I went and booking shows. So I kind of already was just already trying to hit all that myself anyways. You know, I kind of made it like a life thing, man. Like this is my, I, I'm just not just passionate, but like, I really wanted to take it and, and, and do everything I need to do business wise also to make it something you know make it make it go further than just kind of hanging out in your house you know what i mean and more of the hobby style um when um you know how it is with bands um we had some great stuff uh, blah 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 i don't want to go through all that but um when i took a break in like 2010 for me to take a break was like i don't have a break you know what i mean it was like nine years of non-stop um front man and then doing all the other stuff as well and then um you know rocking with the band and, and rehearsing all week and you know how it is so I just took all of that and I had all this music and I did bent self, 
you know, I kind of started being self and then I already kind of was doing a lot of that stuff. Um, for me, I kind of saw things I needed to do though. Like I already did graphic design as, a, as, as make, you know, as, as my moneymaker and stuff like that. I've been doing that forever. I built websites. I worked it. So then I was like, okay, I'm going to work at screen print places, got the knowledge. I ran screen print places. Then I was like, I'm going to work at studios and actually do what they learned at these, at, at these recording schools that they just paid a grip of money for. I picked their brain and I just, you know, a lot of the, the dudes I worked with, I played with too in the band, they were all, um, they're all older than me. They're veterans in the games. They have a lot of knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Not just good skilled players, but I soaked all that in. And I'm like, okay. I like that. Let's, let's run. That's hustling. You know, so That's hustling. It's been, it's been a lot of years. Yeah. And, and a lot of, and time, you know what I mean? Like building up myself is, I never did vocals ever at 2000. I'm like, I'm going to do vocals. Like, this is my thing. Like, I'm going to start a band. You know what I mean? Like, this is what I'm going to do. It's going to be a lot of work, but I'm going to do this. And I've been hitting nonstop since then. The solo stuff, I've just gradually grown, and now I've kind of built other stuff like um, like the full screen print equipment and 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 like the, the full printer and now the embroidery machine and just adding everything I need so everything's in-house and I can print as many as I want and, and as many as I don't want. You know what I'm saying? And kind of and kind of keep everything going because I have like I always like to have a nice grip of merch because that's like without merch, man, it's hard to, to stay afloat regardless, especially if you're building up your brand. That's so, true. Um, yeah, so merch is huge, man, and stuff like that. But I think it's a lot of it's time. And this is the thing I tell people a lot because they'll ask me. It's like, even if there's something that needs to be done, it's something you don't, you know, you try and it's just not your thing and you can't do it, but it's something that needs to be done for to get your music to the next spot. Find someone that can do that. You know what I mean? Like, you, you're going to need help in areas. So it's, it's not really like you just want to completely have to do everything. But if you can do it better than anyone else is trying to help you, then you keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? You just build on it and to do that. And if someone comes along, you find the right people. If it's the right, if it's the right thing you want to sign for, that you can even get with a label and not do any of it. But there's a lot to that. And you know that too. There's a lot of horror stories, man, with like just signing your, your music away. Um, for me, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? I want to own my music um, and I want to write my own lyrics and I want to write and create my own vibe. You know what I mean? So I've just, I've stuck in a pendant for, Unless someone offers me a killer deal and they give me what I need that I have now as an independent artist, but they're just going to help me build on top of that. I'll probably just keep building myself and, and, and progress as much as I, as I Good can. For you. you know what I'm saying? Good for you. Yeah. Uh, we got time for two more questions. One of those questions yeah. is, uh, what is, if you had an alien name, what would it be? <laughs> Ooh, an alien name. Let's see. That's a good one. Um, Oh man, I probably it have to be something to do with like it would be half prehistoric and half alien. It'd be like have to be something like with a pterodactyl and then half alien. You know what I mean? So it'd be like pterodactyl alien or like uh, or pterodactylin. That might be my name. pterodactylin. That would be my alien name. There it is. Yeah, pterodactylin. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah! <laughs> and then your final question of the day. Normally, I ask like to pick your brain about uh, music industry stuff, but you kind of just broke it down. So instead, I'm going to ask you one more actual 1978 alien movie trivia. In the movie, there's a character that says, Can I finish my coffee? It's the only good thing on this ship. All I want to know is what is the character's name in the movie that says that? I don't know, dude. I don't. I could. I could see. Like, I could see it, but the names I'm not good with, dude. I, I'll. It would just be. I would just be making it up. You know what I mean? I have no idea. It's all good. It's double stumped, though. <laughs> did you know it? No, I did not know it. I've only seen the original Alien like once or twice, and it's been at least twenty years. Uh, yeah, that's probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. The answer. <laughs> the answer was Parker. By the way. Parker. Okay. Yeah, ben. I wouldn't have. Yeah. Ben, what you got coming up uh, that we're allowed to know about in the near future? I know sometimes you can't reveal stuff because it's all about promoting and timing, blah, blah, blah. What, what can you let us know about? Maybe a new single coming in the works, a new video. Uh, you're going to be here doing shows. What, what are we allowed to know? Yeah, actually, this is this is good timing. I, um, I just released my second single from my new upcoming album. So the first single, we checked out Murder on Mars. Um, the second single is called Robotic Humalians. It's on my Bandcamp and okay. my SoundCloud only. And then on the 18th, it'll be on all the streaming services here, like pretty soon. So 
Um, that'll be the new single or the second single from the album. And then the full album releases on January 20th. So um, you guys are digging this. For those of you that haven't pre-saved or checked out my music, um, you can pre-order the album and then you can get instant download of Robotic Humalians and Murder on Mars at uh, my band camp. Or you can just go to bentself.com and I got all the stuff on there. Hell yeah. Brother, you're awesome. Yeah, I, just, I, I appreciate you taking uh, some time out of your day to do this, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for having me, dude. Yeah. And if you ain't, if you hit me up on the DM, if you want, I'll shoot you a shirt. Oh, word. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies these and gentlemen. Are, these, are my, uh, these are my Galactic Weed Bandit line. So I kind of, these are just my merch for Ben Self, but they've kind of taken off its own little name. So um, I've been getting them in some dispensaries and like people have been trying to grab Do them. Do they come the, sleeveless like you got them or did you cut it? No, I cut this one. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut mine too. I want to. I want yeah, mine right, to look cool. like I'll that. Send you one. Yeah, let me know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> make, just match me the size and stuff. I'll see you a little care package. You rule, brother. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Please don't be a stranger. You're welcome back anytime, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the music one last time, please hit the follow button. Support him, Ben Self. Thank you, dude.